Did you know that resistance bands work your muscles at a full range of motion and target parts of the body that are often missed by free weights? Well today, celebrity trainer Mike Alexander from MadFit is here to show us a 10 minute workout with this popular fitness tool. First exercise we're gonna to do today with the band is a squat to press with rotation and leg abduction. So we're just gonna stand uh, in the middle of the band if you want to make it easier, stand with your feet closer together. If you want to make it harder, press them out. We're going to start down. We're going to have our hands up here by our shoulders. We're going to step to the side and we're going to abduct that rear leg. So we're rotating through our trunk. We're pressing with our arms and we're going into full hip abduction with that off leg. Normally your body wants to work together, but Right now my leg is making this more difficult on my arms. My arms are making it more difficult for my legs. Are you all feeling this? Definitely. Feel yeah. so this is a definite full body move. Yeah, there's a lot of every muscle in your body, lower body, you're feeling it on the squat, and you're isolating that that leg and abduction. And in the upper body, we're going to the press. So shoulders, triceps, and the rotation is gonna be the trunk. One more. That's good, now we're gonna take this to the ground. We're just gonna sit with our feet out straight in front of us. With this right arm, we're gonna loop the band over our right foot. This arm's gonna control the tension. If you want it to be hard, shorten it up. If you want it to be a little easier, give it some slack. We're gonna reach across with our left arm. We're gonna pull our wrist to our left waist right here and we're going to work some rotation into that as well so when we're rotating to the right we're in rotation here and this oblique is rotating our trunk right back to the left also we're we're making sure that we're working our lat by keeping our hand low and wrapping that elbow around your rib cage at the bottom if you're up here your biceps are going to be your prime mover a lot of people do this they're like i Feel it in my bicep, but not my lat. You want to keep kind of a 90 degree angle there in the elbow if you can. Then we'll switch it over here. Exact same thing. Pulling with the right arm and going into rotation to the right side. Next exercise, we're going to be back up. We're going to be doing a squat with an overhead elbow extension. So we're gonna kind of double this up on each side. We're gonna bring our hands straight over our head and we're gonna extend those elbows out to the side. So they're, the right arm is creating tension for the left arm and the left arm is creating tension for the right arm. So now that we got that motion down, we're gonna be in extension there and then as we come up, we're gonna go down into a squat. So keep the elbows out to the side, down into a squat at the bottom as we come up, really bring your hips all the way underneath you and go full extension, really squeeze the tricep. People say, I don't really feel this in my tricep. And you say, go to full extension. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you go to that uh, full range of motion, you're gonna feel your tricep kick in and start to fatigue. All right, and keep the band tight. That'll help you really increase your muscle tension throughout the entire move. Yeah, and Work hips all, that. all the way underneath you. A lot of people do this move and they don't, they get to here, so you're getting all the, all the quad, but all the glute and the hamstring in a squat is right there, that last motion, bringing your hips, thinking of pressing them into the wall in front of you. That's great, are you all feeling this? I am feeling this. And your triceps? I'm feeling full body. Full body. If it's Ooh. easy, make it tighter. If it's hard, <laughs> power through it. Uh, the next exercise, we're gonna do a one arm, elbow flexion from a lunge. So again, our off hand is gonna be kind of creating the tension or controlling the tension for the left arm. So uh, this one's just kind of here holding the band. Our foot is tight on the band. We're just gonna come up into a lunge. We're just gonna be curling with that left arm right there. So this right arm isn't doing anything except holding the band and this left arm, as we come up with our leg, 
it's making the band tighter and making it harder for our bicep. Right, definitely. And this is a great balance move. Once again, we're working our core and our entire upper and lower body. Yeah, so our back leg is a pretty full extension. See a lot of people drop the knee straight down, but you're not engaging your glutes or your hamstrings when you're doing that. So all the motion right here is coming from the flexion and extension of the left leg. Now we're just gonna switch it over. So right leg or right foot on the band, left foot back, create the tension, adjust mm -hmm. it with your offhand. As we come up, we're gonna be flexing our bicep right there. And make it a challenge for yourself. It's too easy. Not gonna burn. You need the burn. And that's the that's really <laughs> one of the many benefits to the band is if you're lifting a dumbbell and it gets heavy, you have to drop it and get another dumbbell. Right. This band, we can adjust the tension. If this is too heavy, I can give it a little more slack. Uh, or if it's too light, I can make it difficult just by shifting it a couple inches either side. It's great. Now we're gonna go to a static squat with shoulder abduction. So once again, we're just gonna stand about hip width. We're gonna come down into the squat position. So butt back, weight on your heels. Uh, our upper body is about at the same angle as our lower leg. We're just gonna come straight out to the side. So we're holding this squat position. Right. Yep. And because we're holding that squat position, we're not moving around. We can take it a little wider if we want. It's not gonna do much to put the knee at risk. Uh, and it's gonna make these shoulder abductions that harder. much harder. Harder, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if you're feeling the burn, if you're starting to shake, that's all good. Try to stick with it. You're really challenging your body here and you're making changes in your muscle tone. Also, another way to, to do it is if you wanna stand up, that's gonna tighten the uh, the band as well. We'll make it easier. You can go down to a squat. It's gonna be easier for the arms, but it's not gonna be easier for the legs. You're definitely gonna feel feel that isometric. Um, next, we're gonna go into a bridge with a rear delt fly. So we're gonna grab this again. We're gonna double it up. We're gonna be on our backs. We're gonna hold this up in front of us as we. Come up into a bridge. We're just gonna go into a rear delt fly. So when it's up, you probably want it to be parallel with your eyes. And our butt's coming down and it's just grazing the ground. We're not transferring weight right. back down to it and taking a break in between reps. We're keeping constant tension on there. And once again, our left arm and our right arm or in opposition, creating tension for each other. There's a lot of variations of all these things you can do if you want to do alternate or just one at a time, or you just hold a bridge right there. When you have an upper body working with a lower body, it really gives you a lot of options as far as switching it up. The last exercise we're gonna do, thankfully, <laughs> we're almost there. We're gonna he got this. step on this again. We're gonna cross it over. So the one over the left shoe is on our right hand. The one on our right hand is on our left, or right foot is on our left hand. And we're gonna come down into a lateral squat and we're gonna do a front raise right there. So arms are staying straight as they come up. We're not bending the elbows at any point in this exercise. It's very very dynamic. Yeah. There's, a lot of moving parts, y'all are doing. Breathe through this. Incredible job. Thanks so much, Mike. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Great one. Feel the burn. I love that you can take these moves anywhere. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you for having me. We'll see you next time on Fit Sugar TV.